Welcome and thanks so much for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Deb Gillard, your host of today's program, and it is Monday, October 20th, and we are just certainly blessed with a few nice days here in the middle of our October, and a few of them are going to be continuing on this week. So hopefully all of you had a wonderful weekend, enjoyed everything there was to enjoy in and around the area, and have a great week coming up for you as we... Uh, as we give you some Owatonna Today shows for this week. We, of course, are seen on Charter Channel 8 six days a week, and you can also find us out on the Internet. There are a number of ways to get to us. You can type in uh, the YouTube channel. You can head right there, which so many of us are familiar with. And once you're there, Owatonna Today Show, all one word in the search box, and that will get you to uh, the shows that we have uploaded on the Internet. Or go to the Third Hand Video. Dot com Again, all one word. Um, click on the Owatonna Today Show tab and it will take you to a list of the current shows. We're also on Facebook, so if you like us there, it will also give you a notification of when we have the newest programs on. So uh, a lot of different ways to see us. We have a good show for you today. Of course, uh, we do want to remind you that if you have ideas for shows or show topics or guests or guest ideas, please get a hold of Leanne at Owatonna Today at charter.net or calling her at 390-5751, and we are happy to hear from you. Coming up, um, we're going to be heading out on location. You're not going to see a whole lot of me this time, because out on location for Little Theater's upcoming production, When We Are Married, that's going to be our first show segment. A little bit later on in the program, a video with the uh, Owatonna Foundation. So let's take this first break for our supporters, and then we're heading out. We'll see you at the end of the program. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Giltvet. And I'm Dr. Nick Vincelli of Horizon Eye Care. We want you to see what you love and love how you see. We're proud sponsors of the Owatonna Today Show. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Hi, I'm Pete Grant, Superintendent of Owatonna Public Schools. We know that the financial stability of a family depends on good education. The United Way programs and initiatives prepare children to come to kindergarten ready to learn and offers mentorships and tutoring through the early school years. We're proud to be part of this United Way Community Campaign Leadership Team and encourage you to give generously this year. Our children are counting on us and we're counting on you. Hi, and welcome back to the Owatonna Today Show. We are in the gorgeous set of When We Are Married, LTO's upcoming and most awesome show. I can say that because I know these things. <laughs> and I'm at one of the tables. We're actually at the set, and I'm going to introduce a couple people, actually have them introduce themselves. We'll start with you. I'm Larry Ostermeyer. And I'm the artistic director of the show. Okay. And you are? Ron Hager, and I play Herbert Soppet. Glad you remembered your name. Somebody yeah. should. So we are here, and we're talking about this play, which, Larry, we want to start with you a little bit. This is a crazy play. It is. It, first of all, talk to me a little bit about how you decided to uh, that this is the play that you wanted to direct. Great. Well, we saw When We Were Married, When We Are Married, in uh, at the Guthrie Theater a few years ago, and just fell in love with it. Felt that it was a really good play for our patrons here, because it deals with relationships, and I think everyone likes to go see a play and kind of relate to the characters a little bit. And uh, these relationships are kind of an interesting thing. So there's a lot of comedy involved, and um, of course, I love bringing laughter to the stage. So the comedy that it was a, a really fun comedy and that the uh, whole plot of the story is something that many people could relate to. I thought, I thought that it would be a good idea to bring it to LTO. As the director, what was one of the challenges for you in this production? Well, the biggest challenge probably was the idea of what kind of dialect we wanted to use. It's, it is a British comedy, um, but 
I knew that we wouldn't have to go too far, and uh, we had some great resources. Uh, Shelly, actually, you have been very helpful, and, and others in, in knowing exactly how we should go about this. But um, with a few practices, we, we went from Australian accent to um, Cockney accent to every dialect you can come up with, but we finally got into a rhythm. And, and, and finally, um, I think the audience will be happy to know, though, that it's really a play where they won't be thinking about the dialect or the fact that it is a British comedy. They'll be more centered on the plot and, and what's happening on stage. How many actors do you have in the production? We have 15 actors, many of them seasoned actors that the audience will know from other productions. I think if you added them up there, I can't even imagine how many productions everyone's been in, but there are some f familiar names. If you go to our website, you'll find out who all is involved, but um, we do have some new characters, uh, new, well, they are characters, <laughs> but uh, we have some new um, performers as well that have never been on stage, so it's a, a nice mix. And there's posters that'll be around town, and you might actually, they, one of the photographs is of the, some of the actors. Yes, our three couples that are the major characters are in that picture, and so they'll be easily identifiable. And um, yeah, those posters should be around town, and uh, anybody that knows about Little Theater, just ask somebody, and I think you can get some more information. Probably the best thing to do is just to go to the littletheaterofowatana.org website. Um, and we're also on Facebook, so you can find out more information there as well. I want to talk to one of those main couples now, a part of them. And this is Ron. Uh, Ron, tell us again who you play. Uh, Herbert Sappet. And you've done some plays for Little Theater, haven't you? Yes. Um, first time was for uh, The Unsinkable Molly Brown. And so uh, how long ago was that? About three and a half years ago. And how many shows have you done since then? Overall, this is number nine. So in three years, you've done nine shows. So you got bit by the theater bug, is that what happened? Yes, very much. <laughs> how does this play, uh, how has it been for you compared to some of the other ones you've been in? Um, it's, some of the lines have been challenging, um, but you know, still having lots of fun, you know, and a lot of it has to do with the cast, and this is a very fun cast to work with. <laughs> You, we, Larry talked a little bit about the dialect. How was that journey for you? Uh, difficult most of the times. Um, I think I'm getting knit down for the most part, but there's still sometimes I catch myself where I should, nope, got to change, got to do, say it this way and or that way. And tell me a little about your character and kind of maybe the transformation that might happen to him in the show. Um, well, at the beginning of the show, he's more of timid and. I wouldn't say afraid of his wife, but she's more outgoing than the other care, other wives in the show. I play his wife. He's scared of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there's a transformation that goes on, and I think the patrons will see it's, I wouldn't say Jekyll and Hyde, but it's more of a switch of roles, mm -hmm. you know, one um, where Claire isn't Clara isn't as dominant as she was in the beginning of the show. So we, I, know, I don't think we've talked about exactly what does happen in the show to make that change happen. Tell me a little bit about the plot. Um, the plot is there's the, the three couples that all got married on the same day in the same chapel by the same person. And throughout the play, these three couples find out that the person that married them was not qualified to marry them. So therefore, they were not properly married. How do you think your character feels about that? Um, a little relieved a little bit <laughs> because of the character of his wife yeah. and but at the same time as you know it's like okay now what do I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah good well thank you for your time. Thank you. Now I want you to introduce yourself for me please. Hi I'm Jalen Everett. Um, <laughs> I play Ruby Bertle. Now you're in high school what grade are you in? I'm a junior. And how many shows have you done? Oh, geez. I mean, this one, and then I was in Ramona Quimby this past summer, and then I was in one last year, and if I count... Counting's hard, math is hard. Yeah, hey. no, yeah. Give me a ballpark. Nine. Nine? Okay, good, good. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Ruby, because she's kind of in and out this entire show. Ruby's definitely in and out. Um, she's very, like, 
full of life and really spunky. She yeah. kind of doesn't really care what anyone thinks about her. She's really kind of, you know. Would you say it was typecasting for you? Like, is that like you and you're, you don't really care and you're spunky? Yeah, I'm not really <laughs> acting very hard. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, you know. <laughs> what is it like being in a show? You, I know you've done work at the high school and Ramona Quimby was a kid show, but these are all grown up old people. Yeah. How has that been? Yeah, yeah she says. <laughs> How has that been for you? Um, it's definitely a learning experience because I'm so used to being around people my age that um, they don't really have as many life lessons to teach you as people who are older than you do. They try to give you advice on do this, but yeah. don't do this. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a learning experience. How do you think Ruby affects the show? What is her, what is her purpose in the show, do you think? Um, I think Ruby is kind of like a comic relief at some points mm -hmm. like things can get really tense in some of the scenes and then Ruby will pop in and she'll be like May's miracle is stopping near the front gate and it's just like oh, do, no. do you need me to translate for that for you so, yeah. okay yeah. so say it again I said May's motor car stopping near the front gate yeah mayor's motor car stopping near the front yeah. gate and that's been, was that a challenge for you doing the dialect um like at first Okay, so actually when I got the role of this, I thought Ruby was Irish. <laughs> so I was like hardcore learning how to do the Irish yeah. accent. And then I learned she's from Yorkshire, mm -hmm. not Ireland. And it was definitely difficult switching from Irish to Yorkshire. But the whole English accent thing is something I adore and do yeah. at home and annoy the heck out of my family with anyways. Oh, come to the show and then she can annoy the heck out of you. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe we maybe. shouldn't <laughs> say that. So do me a favor. I'm going to have you be my little spokesperson. Okay. So tell us what... Uh, when is the play? Um, the play is October 24th, 25th, 30th, and 31st, and November 1st. Uh, <laughs> the matinee is October 26th at 2 p.m., and all the other shows are at 7.30 p.m. And then if they want tickets, they can get them at? The Little Theater of Owatonna.org. And that's like a new snazzy thing, because you can order them right online. That's a really good thing. Snazzy. Yeah, snazzy. Tell me, uh, what's one reason you think people need to come see the play? To see Ruby, obviously. <laughs> uh, definitely because, come see the show just because it gives you like this new outlook on the Victorian kind of lifestyle. Everything's kind of viewed as suppressed emotion in Victorian era, but you see this kind of as a looser Victorian and it's just Because of the circumstances. Yeah. And I, I want to ask Ron that too. Yeah. Ron, what do you think? What's one reason people need to come see the show? Um, it's very funny. Yeah. They're, they are going to laugh a lot. Well, and so wear your depends and make sure you come. Again, those dates are October 24th, 25th, 30th, and 31st, as well as November 1st, all at 7.30, with a matinee on Sunday, October 2nd. And thank you guys so much for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you. We don't spend nearly enough time. We should work on that. And we'll be right back with the Oatana Today Show. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Brandy Wilker, and I play Lottie Grady. And I'm Tim Fitzgerald, and I play Henry Ormond Royd in LTO's current production of When We Are Married, directed by Larry Ostermeyer and sponsored by J.C. Press and Wells Fargo. Performances of When We Are Married will be held Friday and Saturday, October 24th and 25th at 7.30 p.m., with a matinee on Sunday, October 26th at 2 p.m. And again the following Thursday through Saturday, October 30th and 31st and November 1st. Tickets are available at the LTO box office by calling 451-0764 or online at littletheaterofowatonna.org. Hey, oh, don't, don't miss, miss LTO's, LTO's production, production of, of When, when we, are we Are Married. I'm not marrying him. Uh, but why not? I don't know. Yeah. I keep falling asleep. <laughs> Just a bit of cheer. <laughs> Stop drinking. Hi, I'm Rick Smith, golf course superintendent of the Brooktree Golf Course. Brooktree is an 18-hole championship golf course featuring well-manicured greens, tees, and fairways. We are open to the public. I challenge you to find a better maintained golf course for the money we charge here at Brooktree. Come on out and play Brooktree, a great golf course. Everyone deserves opportunities to have a good life, a quality education that leads to a stable job, enough income to support a family through retirement, and good health. But the reality is many children fall behind, many families are struggling, and many others are in poor health. United Way's goal is to find long-term solutions. Thanks to a grant from the Otto Bremer Foundation, we're hosting community conversations this year to address these issues. 
If you'd like to join us, please call our office. Hi, I'm Brenda with the Mortgage Office of Brenda Bednar, aligned with American Mortgage and Equity Consultants, where closings feel right, right from the beginning. I'm a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, I am Dr. Amy Swain from Amy Swain Hearing Centers, and for more than 20 years I have been helping people hear better. It has been a very rewarding experience, but so many people put off getting help with their hearing. Clients often tell me they wish they had started wearing hearing aids sooner as their quality of life was improved so much with better hearing. Call me today at 1-800-804-3361 for a free hearing test at Amy Swain Hearing Centers of Oatana, Austin, and Waseca. That's 1-800-804-3361, where Dr. Amy Swain wants everyone to hear better. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Claire Bridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. There's no question uh, that uh, over the years since the Oatana Foundation was founded, Oatana has become a better place to live and raise a family. When I think about the Oatana Foundation and what it's done for the future, I think about positive change. so important that the Owatonna Foundation continue in the active role that it has. Every dollar that they give to the Owatonna Foundation goes into this great community of Owatonna. Uh, that's the reason that we exist. Oatana Foundation has impacted our family's life by all the wonderful things that they have provided our community with. Um, the River Springs Water Park, the Band Shell down at Central Park, the beautiful um, trail system that we have here in Oatana. And by being a part of the foundation, it has allowed us to give back to our community and we have found that to be very rewarding. I don't think there's a brick and mortar project in Oatana that hasn't gone to the Oatana Foundation to look for assistance and every one of those that they approve uh, brings value to our community. Being in city government I understand that uh, there's a lot of things that we cannot finance alone and without the foundation's assistance uh, the trails on the north end of town would have been very difficult to put the bridges there. They've donated over five hundred thousand dollars to that project which means that uh, all people in Oatana can use that. It's a very very great asset to our community.
I find that in working with people when they're considering our community or another community, whatever it is, they're always impressed with what I have to share with them and what the Owatonna Foundation has contributed. And there are so many things. It's not just one factor that is pivotal in their decision, I don't think. I think they just have so many factors that impress them and they lean our direction in great part based upon the foundation. I think about the quality of life that we have here, our community assets. Um, when we're talking about community assets in Owatonna, we're talking about things that enhance where we live, where we work, where we play, where we visit. Examples of that would be like our soccer complex, improvements that we made out there, um, our food shelf, uh, the programming behind our little theater, um, our community aquatic center. been financial challenges and that's why we we really need to have the support of those in the community. We don't have the local industry and the business that we used to have. Many of those businesses are, are owned by entities outside of the community or even in other countries and so unlike the founders of the Oatana Foundation who were all uh, in this community and all residents of the community all raising their families in Oatana, uh, there are not sometimes that association anymore with the community of Owatonna. In, in today's competitive world, it's, it's very important that we continue to draw in new businesses and citizens, and the Owatonna Foundation provides us with the opportunity to add the amenities um, that most smaller cities don't have. The best endorsement that I can give for the Otana Foundation is the level of responsibility and the care that the trustees have taken with donations over many, many years. And the results of the Foundation's work is something that we all see every day as we live and work in the Otana community. Foundations done something very nice for Otana that not all communities have and that's to preserve the heritage of the community. Um, tax dollars won't do it alone. You know, government can do what it does best, churches can do what they do best, but when you have bricks and mortar and people that really care and invest in um, a community, that's what a foundation does. The foundation has been in existence for many, many years. Um, the evidence of their work is, is really all around the community. You know, it takes um, a village really takes all of us to really build a community and that's what um, we have here in Oatana. The Oatana Foundation definitely is an essential need in our community. It's an absolute must. To me the foundation really provides a sense of permanence for the community. Um, when I travel around the community on my daily errands or to and from work um, and I see all the projects that the foundation was a part of, um, I know that those projects are here today and they will be here tomorrow and for many years to come. Founded in 1958. Over 11 million dollars. Preserving the past. Building the present. Funding the future. Making a difference. Every single dollar that is given to the Owatonna Foundation goes back into this community. Supporting community progress. Supporting community progress. The Owatonna Foundation is your community foundation.
Hi, I'm Ron Clancher with Clancher & Son Landscaping and Concrete. We support the Oatana Today Show and so should you. Hello, my name is Katie Marshall. A year ago my family and I became homeless. We were scared and alone. Today, with the help of Steele County Transitional Housing and generous donors like you, my family and I are safely housed. I am working, going to college, paying my rent on time. My children have a warm bed to sleep in every night. My family and I are so grateful for this second chance. Please help others in need by donating to Transitional Housing today. Everyone deserves a safe place to live. And it's time to wrap up the program here on this Monday, October 20th with some announcements. The 2014 Steele County Toys for Tots Family to Family application is now available in your community. Parents, guardians must complete an application, um, which is available from the following locations within Steele County. In Owatonna, um, at the Owatonna Public Library, Salvation Army, Steele County Clothesline, Steele County Food Shelf, Steele County Human Services, Steele County Public Health Workforce Development Center, also around the community um, at the Ellendale Post Office, Medford City Hall, and Blooming Prairie Public Library. The registration deadline for the 2014 Toys for Tots Family to Family program is November 19th. Um, distribution will take place on December 18th, 19th, and 20th. So if you or a, a family that you know of is in need of that program and services, please get a hold of uh, the application at any of those locations. Congratulations to Todd Ulrich, Firefighter of the Year. The Owatonna Exchange Club is having a Firefighter of the Year banquet. You are cordially invited. It is this Thursday, October 23rd. It will be at the Eagles Club in downtown Owatonna. Tickets are $20 and may be purchased at the City Administration Office, West Hills, Kotke Jewelers, and the Owatonna Fire Department. So if you're interested in attending that, you may do so on Thursday. Coming up on Saturday, October 25th, Park and Recreation here in Owatonna is having their trick-or-treat trail. It starts at Morehouse Chalet at 3 o'clock. Uh, this Saturday, the 25th, there will be activities, crafts, and snacks, and then there's a family-friendly spooky trail uh, that heads toward Lake Colmeyer. Along the trail, you can visit local businesses for trick-or-treating, crafts, cupcake decorating, face painting, a photo shoot, and other very fun activities. The event is free, and all ages are welcome, so that will be a fun thing to do. If you would like, uh, you could probably do them both, but there's some more family-friendly uh, fall festival activity going on at Riverbend Nature Center. There starts at 4 o'clock and goes until 8 o'clock and that of course is in Faribault. If you'd like more information about their family friendly event on Saturday you can contact them at 332-7151. 332-7151. That'll wrap up today's program. Please join us on Wednesday when we will have our City Council at Large candidates here to talk about why you should be voting for them. So we will see you on Wednesday. Have a great day.